Thank you so much, Chairwoman, and I appreciate you holding this very important hearing. Uh, Dr. Scott, I have a question for you. Uh, SB 8 prohibits abortions of a fetus after a quote unquote detectable fetal heartbeat, correct? That is correct. And you supported and testified in support uh, of SB 8 at a March uh, Texas State Senate hearing, right? I was at a state Senate hearing. I was testifying particularly um, about the medical abortion limitations. I may have s submitted a written testimony, but I don't recall that I But you support SB8, correct? I support the ability of a state to legislate the procedure of abortion in accordance with the will of the people. Well, Again, let me ask you this. I read the whole text of SB8, and in here, uh, it does not have an exception, even in the case of rape, correct? That's probably correct. And it doesn't have an exception even in the case of incest, right? That is correct. Now, my wife and I have a daughter, Dr. Scott, and one of our greatest fears in life is that she would be sexually assaulted or raped. Now, I understand that you have a daughter, right? I do have a daughter, thing. If, God forbid, your daughter were raped, do you believe that your daughter should be forced to carry the fetus to term? In the event, and I just want to say um, for the record that the, the stories that I've heard from women today of their abortions make me very sad. I, I feel for every woman that has been through that horrendous situation and had to make that horrendous decision. I and working for a world where women do not ever have to address that decision. But I would say that in the case of a rape, women generally know that they've been raped. And a woman can find out that she is I'm pregnant. I'm just asking you a simple question, Dr. Scott. In the case, even after a detectable fetal heartbeat under SBA, were your daughter raped? Would you believe that she should be forced to carry the baby to term as required by SB 8? If my daughter were pregnant as a result of rape, that would be extraordinarily sad. And I think that is evidence of the broken world that we are living in. Ma'am, you don't want to answer the question. You're being evasive. And this is the hypocrisy which characterizes people like you having an opinion as to how you would treat your own daughter but forcing other daughters and sisters and women in the state of Texas to go through a wholly, entirely different experience. In 2019, the Texas Department of Safety reported more than 14,000 rapes in the state of Texas. And most experts believe, unfortunately, the actual number of rapes far surpasses the number of reported rapes. Now, Ma'am, do you believe that after a fetal heartbeat is detected, there should be any, any exception for rape or incest? I think there's adequate time in this law for a woman who's been raped to discover that she's pregnant, and if she wants to terminate the pregnancy, I think that she has time to do it. You're not answering the question, ma'am. After the detectable fetal heartbeat has been uh, supposedly ascertained under the statute, it appears that you don't believe that there should be a, an exception for rape or incest. And that goes directly contrary to what Donald Trump said. He said, I am strongly pro-life with the three exceptions, rape, incest, and protecting the life of the mother, the same position taken by Ronald Reagan. Now, let me talk about Governor Abbott. When he was asked about forcing women to carry their fetuses to term in the case of rape, he said, Texas will work tirelessly to make sure that we eliminate all rapists. Now, ma'am, you don't believe that SB8 is going to result in the elimination of rape in Texas, do you? No, of course not. And you don't believe that incest will be eliminated in Texas Madam either? Madam Chair, his time's expired. Gentlemen's time has expired. You can answer. The, um, the heartbeat indicates an independent human life, and as a pro-life physician who advocates for the fetus as well as the mother, that human life should be allowed to continue. Unresponsive. Thank you.